Welcome once again to He Said, He Said, the agreeable debate segment where Randy and I deconstruct the most controversial issues in the NFL and then come to a consensus. Let's get into it, okay, Rand? This week, Rex Ryan was up to his old antics once again. He wore a helmet to a press conference, and a reporter called him out on it. Paying attention to what he just did with the Clemson helmet. Calvin Pryor just tweeted, this guy does anything for attention. Hard to respond to that. <laughs> <laughs> He's right. Okay, ostensibly, he's wearing the helmet to represent his son, who plays for the number one ranked Clemson Tigers. But he Fine. probably wears helmets all the time because IK and Impali yep. is in the locker room, and if he snaps at any moment, boom, you can get a jaw broken. Can you imagine Rex Ryan with a broken jaw not being able to speak? Yeah, I can. He'd probably sound like this. Um, same as for everybody. Be ready to go and go out there and do their best. <laughs> That would be a nightmare. Yeah, but that's not going to happen, okay? Rex is reportedly making Enem Pally the team captain against his former team, the Jets, which, let's face it, that's another slap in the face to old Geno Smith. Huge slap. And in my mind, that makes Ryan less of an offensive coaching genius and more geniusly offensive. offensive. Am yeah, I right? Absolutely. So my question to you, Rand, is should Rex Ryan be grandstanding like this? I love it. I, I love it. I think not only should he be grandstanding like this, I think all coaches. How much fun would that be if they were all grandstanding I agree like with this. you. I've always said coaches should be less like Tom Landry, more like Tom Green. I agree. Okay, so he's only 4-4. Four and four. That's not a winning record. Record, but Fine. he's got a winning personality. He does. That's enough to give you job security in a place like Buffalo. Agreeing to spend a full winter in Buffalo gives you job security in Buffalo. Liking Buffalo wings in Buffalo is which, enough to give you job security, security which, by the way, I actually brought some wings. Oh, great. Here we go. Mm -hmm. mm. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Those are way too... Spicy for me. Well, give me the mild ones. Yeah, mm -hmm. you took a mild one, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I call this? What? The buffalo manicure. Look, some people say Rex checks yourself before you riggedy Rex yourself, but I say no. Rex, go for it. Yeah, the more Rex, the better. Look, I say let the man go off the rails. Don't judge Rex Ryan until you've walked a mile in his wife's shoes. I agree, and those are some pretty nice shoes right yeah. there. I've always said Rex Ryan brings to pro football what we've always seen in the world of pro wrestling. And you know what they need right now in pro football? What? Well, we had in pro wrestling. What it, love I, triangle. Love triangle. Triple H, Kurt Angle, Stephanie McMahon. That's I remember love that triangle. triangle. That was Rex amazing. Ryan already has the triangle. What is right? the triangle? Rex Ryan? Ryan, his wife's feet, and Mark Sanchez. He loves all three of those things. Think about the tattoo he has. The tattoo on his he had on his arm is his, his wife, wife in a Sanchez jersey, which made everyone uncomfortable, including Sanchez. Look, the Lombardi Trophy is beautiful. We've seen it up We've close. We've seen it up close. How great would it be if it was on a championship belt? Oh, I love it. Wrestling style, right? Fantastic. Can you imagine Jim Nance putting that championship belt around the hoodie? Then Rex Ryan come in and throwing Belichick off the top rope. Maybe a sunset flip into a small package. Maybe a brain claw into a stomach claw. Maybe a body slam. Maybe a side souffle. Figure four leg lock. A butt butt. I agree with everything you're saying right now. Okay, so then I guess we have to agree to agree. Rex Ryan, he's great for the game. More Rex Ryan, please. More Rex Ryan is good for the game. This has been He Said, He Said. Can I get a napkin? Who are you talking to? You. There's nobody over there.